father said, This is my son in whom I love, who I love, and he is precious to me. And we be, must, must begin to understand that this is our also our identity in Christ. If we are in Christ, everything that the Father said to Christ is applicable to us. Okay? So it is because of who God is, I am. I am because of who God is. Okay? So who is God? Love is God. God is a title. But love is God. Therefore, because God is love, I am loved. For my existence, my identity comes from what the truth is. And slowly we begin to understand that we are one with the truth, with Christ. He, said, he says, if you believe in me, me and you become one. And because you accepted me, the Son, who was sent by the Father, you accept my Father. So, And he says that if you say you love me, I will make a home with you, with my Father. And how is that done? He says, I will become one with you in the mind, the soul, right? Christ consciousness, growing into the mind of Christ. And then, how does the Father manifest to us? Through through our physical reality. We pray for something that happens. That's why we know that the Father loves us, right? So we must understand that our identity is based on who the true God is, which is love. And what Christ did on the cross allows us to partake in His divine nature through the promises He made through His Son. And this is amazing, guys. Um, and so we're going to be talking about identity because identity is important. If you do not know who you are, I will definitely say you tell these two things about you. That you are depressed and you have no joy. Depression comes from not knowing who you are in the truth and not knowing the truth. And because you don't know who you are, you cannot do what causes you to have joy. Because joy comes from doing your purpose freely.